Hi friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel. In this video, I will show you how you can use your old routers to extend your Wi-Fi signals within your home or your office. So, I mean, this video is not made for uh, like a kind of a tutorial. The thing is actually I have few uh, routers, old routers that, uh, that I'm using right now. Uh, this is the one and this is the second one and I have uh, this one is actually with my internet so uh, this TP-Link uh, AC1750 is the one which is I'm using for, with my internet but these two uh, routers are actually sitting idle because there is no use uh, so far so what I decided okay, I'm going to use this uh, for extend my Wi-Fi network and uh, I will show you how uh, I'm, I'm going to do this so you can also utilize yours one uh, I have few others also like I have uh, one more router but at least for this practice we are going with these two uh, you, you might also hear a few uh, devices like this with this one I have a TP-Link Wi-Fi extender so this is uh, this is basic for that if you want to use this this is uh, it will take your Wi-Fi signal and extend the the same signals to a different uh, different SSID okay so but this one is actually what I feel is the speed wise it's not so much reliable and also the connection I'm not pretty much happy with this one because I, I already having mean this and I'm using this but it's not uh, so let's just try with the, our routers for that what I'm going to use is uh, I'm going to use a uh, few cables and which is uh, category 6 cables I have this uh, bundles of cables which I already get uh, category 6 cable or make sure it should be cat 6 or cat 5 e otherwise you won't get uh, if you have uh, more than 100 mbps connection then you won't get the speed properly so make sure you have the proper cables and uh, rest of the thing so at uh, first I will show you my topology what is the connection topology and then uh, for you it will be better to understand and then we'll go inside uh, the configuration of routers okay so here we have a TP-Link router that we are going to use as a Wi-Fi extender and also we have a geo router so these two one which we will do the configuration so let me show you first uh, so this is the this is my fiber internet connection is coming from this and if I can show you the back side of this so here you can see this uh, my internet is actually plugged inside my internet the blue one and the rest of the cables the LAN cables uh, we are going to use for connecting our routers so this uh, white cat 6 cable is connected with my geo router here you can see it's it's connected here and this uh, the rest yellow one it's also I'm, I'm just connecting this as a as a PC so you can say that it's like a just con connecting as a normal computer and here also make sure uh, this is for you so if you are using if you want to use your router as a Wi-Fi extender then don't put inside WAN or if internet written there so you can just plug it inside LAN 1 LAN 2 or LAN 3 ignore this one okay so let me connect this to LAN 1 and and then you can plug the power and rest of the settings we will do with our uh, this uh, panel of the like the web panel of the configuration settings of uh, this router so that i will show you how to do that okay so this is it so this is for our internet and we are we have connected our both routers with this now let's just quickly see what are the settings that we need to do all right, so let's do the configurations and settings for our Wi-Fi routers to make them as a Wi-Fi signal extenders. So first thing is what you should connect with your Wi-Fi router where you are uh, getting the internet access and the primary router. Okay, so in my case, Area 51 is my primary router and Geo is my secondary router, which I want to connect it as a uh, Wi-Fi signal uh, extender. Okay. So here, uh, let's just go to the properties and see what is the DNS server because that is very important to so make sure DNS server should be only your primary router where you are getting the internet. The rest of the servers should follow the same way. 
let's just go to this uh, whatever dns server uh, number you are seeing here maybe in your case it can be 1.1 .1 or maybe start with some other ip but whatever dns server you are seeing that must be followed by other uh, routers also so once you put that uh, dns server uh, in your web browser so you should be able to see the the login page the web portal of the router so in my case this is my internet router and i can see my internet is connecting and all this thing is fine okay now the thing is i have a geo router which i connected with this so for that what you have to do is you need to disconnect you need to disconnect your internet uh, well, from wherever you are connected and you need to connect with your geo router or, or whatever router the secondary router you have so once you connect with that because what we have to do is we need to access the same panel which we are accessing right now here okay so once you connect with the geo router and you need to type the the id for whatever password you have uh, so So let's see so now I am connecting with my geo router and with my geo router uh, so the whatever the page that is uh, set by geo all you can see is you can see in the properties but here you can see this is still showing this because my configuration just now I, I was trying and it's already made so but let me show you where exactly the settings is coming so I need to go to this IP address 254 and you see that within the same network i'm getting when i'm i'm putting the ip address 274 i'm getting the geo uh, panel and let me access the admin panel for this so this is my secondary router as well as my primary router also visible here so this is my primary router so this is my tp link primary router where i'm getting the internet and this is the geo router uh, my secondary router so what i did here is i will show you the exact settings there's two things which i did first thing is i disabled dhcp and second i set a static ip so with that i'm able to get this thing so let me show you where i did this go to network lan and he here in lan this dhcp setup set it to none and put a static ip here so static ip means a fixed ip for your router so i put uh, 0.254 and that this is the ip for this and you can see this ip is access uh, you can actually browse thing from the same ip so this router panel can be accessed through this ip because this is so now uh, the thing is this geo router uh, have their own ssids so with that uh, I have some users can connect with geo2 and some users can connect with area 51 which is the primary ip uh, primary uh, router and this is the secondary router and both are sharing internet so here you can see uh, i'm i'm getting uh, my internet is connecting connected already and uh, i'm getting a speed of almost the same speed which i'm getting in my primary router because i have connected my both routers using lan cable okay then the interesting thing here is uh, when you go to the wired client you can see this wired is basically my zbook is currently connected with my uh, geo router but when you go to the primary router it will show you it's connected as a wired client because uh, our routers are connected using uh, wired and for wire i would recommend go with cat6 because then you will get the proper bandwidth for your uh, internet okay so it's it's actually quite simple thing but uh, i i just explain you in detail so make sure you understand the entire concept what is going on there so dhcp disable and put a static ip and make sure you are in the same network connect with a cable and then you are good to go with that little bit confusing in the beginning but you, if you have any question or if you are facing any issue you can just comment in uh, below and um, i will i will try to help you in that okay so that's it for this video and uh, I will see you in my next coming videos. Okay. Thank you guys.